Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Abna Addo and on my channel I talk about living in Ghana, traveling Africa. This is my dad. Say hey dad. Oh, hello. So today we're on our way to Laboni in Accra and we're gonna go try a breakfast place called Rose Garden. living in Ghana for the last um, year and a bit. But what made you move to Ghana? Okay. It wasn't the actual time I wanted to move back to Ghana, but I came to Ghana when all these uh, COVID things started and uh, um, I was supposed to stay here for a little while and that I had advantage to stay here for a little longer, you know, which was very hardly done. So after that, I realized that, hey, I have to continue because uh, maybe I was going to stay in Canada for maybe another year before coming to Ghana. So I decided to, you know, cut it short and then start it. You know, so that's the reason why I'm here. Awesome. So very similar to me. So as you guys may know, I came to Ghana during COVID as well to visit him. And then, you know, I haven't actually stayed here longer than a month. And when I was here, I, I had a really good time. I thought it was really interesting met a lot of cool people so I decided you know why not move here and see what it's like so it's been a really cool experience don't you think very 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 big experience yes. <laughs> okay so obviously it's been positive so what has been your favorite thing so also my dad and I have not lived together in like over 15 years mm -hmm. I think oh yeah, yeah right? That's right so it has been interesting living with you so what has been your favorite thing about living together the last um, year. Oh, okay, that's a very interesting question. Is it right now I gotta know you very well? Uh, as my baby, you've been independent like just after school. You never wanted to live with anybody, so you've been on your own for all this time, and then all of a sudden I'm with you. So, uh, in actual fact, I'm getting to know you very, very well, you know, like in terms of uh, staying together. So, I'm very thrilled, and that's my biggest happiness you know, in my life Aww. best thing for me in my life nice thank you dad you're welcome okay so what has been the biggest challenge living in ghana or what like the biggest difference you found i guess because you've been away for how long how long where have you been in canada for oh yeah i've been away for for about you know about 30 years yeah, so thirty yeah, years. Yeah. Okay, so what has been the biggest challenges? Let's say two things. Um but you see when I came when I came back here, right, you know, it takes time to adjust to the system again. And what I realized was um their timing system is so bad, like time is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they don't value time, you know. They tell you, oh, I'm, I'll be there in a, I'll be there soon. Soon means maybe five, ten hours, right? <laughs> and then if you if you if you are having a direction, right direction, they say, oh, just right there, right there is maybe two miles away. You know those kind of stuff. Uh, I guess the so, time is a big thing here, especially like when you're getting food and it takes long, or someone a worker says they're gonna come you know, do something for you and you're waiting and then, you know, you realize you've been waiting all day yeah. and they haven't come yet. And then, you know, they didn't call to be like, oh, like this came up. They just called to be like, oh, tom what you call them to be like, hey, I've been waiting for five hours. They'll be like, oh, tomorrow. If you, if somebody is waiting for you, right? This is nothing to do with being in Canada or in Ghana. If somebody is waiting for you and you know the person is waiting for you and you can't make it, is it a big thing to say, hey, I can't make it at this time. So, you know, have to just adjust to the system yeah. and then you go with the flow. Yeah, exactly. So what do you think the biggest changes you've seen in Accra from when you were here 30 years ago um, to when you're here now? Well, right now, I, all that I can see is uh, the traffic is... <laughs> traffic is so much and the development you see if you okay what i realizing about canada right 
um, as the population grows, right, they do. They also think about expanding things. You know, you know, like overhead bridges and uh, infrastructure. Infrastructure, right? But in Ghana here, it's kind of lacking a little bit. So it, it's it's like a zoo sometimes with the traffic. So the population's growing, but they're yeah. not. It's not accompanied yeah. by like new roads. Yeah. Or... For example, for example, you see where we live right now. We live in a suburb in Accra, right? You see, at that time, this is what about 20 years ago? Then uh, this place was built. The 20 years to now, the, the population is double, maybe three, four times. But the same road that we were using, the same we still use it. Yeah. So can you imagine that? Uh, what would that be? Is the most frustrating thing for me in Ghana. Years. So what did you order, Dad? Loaded omelette without any mushrooms. Spicy rice on the side. Uh, oh, the shot. What is that for you to get drunk, right, my friends? <laughs> so what do you have, Dad? Um, he said, uh, Actually, I'm not sure of the name, but it says this is sweet red wine to, show, to put it in there. You didn't want to get me drunk. <laughs> I'm driving now, but I don't know what is this. It's a, I don't know, it's a red wine shot, but you can put it in the drink. So put it, pour it in, or take a sip first. What is this? Oh, man. A sip. What is in there? So we just finished our brunch at Rose Garden. Dad, let's hear your review of the place. What did you get? How did uh, you like it? Okay, um, I ordered the fully loaded omelette. Yeah. And uh, I think it was uh, very delicious. Yeah? Uh, I really so liked it. So what that. out of 10? One out of 10, I just gave them eight and a half, like almost nine. Oh, wow, you pretty know? good rating. So good. we also shared yeah. the mac and cheese. What did you think about the mac and cheese? Well, that was wonderful too. You know, a lot of cheese. <laughs> That's his favorite thing. I and love then cheese. I had the American breakfast, which was good. I've had it before. Um, it's always like very consistent, really, really tasty. So overall, we had a really good experience at Rose Garden. That's correct. So somewhere that we would recommend in Accra for brunch. Thank you so much, though. Uh, you did wonderful. Um, I was kind of not little happy about it from the beginning. But, you know, you proved me wrong. Thanks a lot. <laughs> okay, guys. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. Keep watching. There'll be a lot more content in Ghana coming up your way. Thanks, hey. guys. Please subscribe. Please do that. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.